What is going on everybody? In today's video I'm going to show you guys my top 5 weapons that you can find out in your ventures in Fallout 4. So these are going to be 5 weapons that you can obtain just from running around in Fallout 4. You can purchase them from vendors, you can find them by killing powerful enemies. Uh, and yeah, let's just go and hop right into number 5. Alright, number 5 will be the Furious Power Fist. The reason why this weapon is uh, number 5 on my list is because at a very early level I picked this weapon up and this actually carried me through my first playthrough of the game. Since I've always ran a melee build in Fallout 4, it, it just seems appropriate because I run out of ammo really quickly with all the weapons I use. I still have a weapon on the side that that's pretty powerful and helps me out, but I prefer the melee build so I'm pretty sure this list may be a little biased towards melee weapons, but can't help it. <laughs> it's just my uh, top 5 weapons that I chose. That should be on the list. But anyway, guys, again, the Furious Power Fist. You're going to get this at the Swan's Pond. I'm going to show you where it is on the map in a second here. But I'm going to explain why this weapon is so great at an early level. Because it increases damage after each consecutive hit on the same target. It means if you keep hitting the same thing, you do more damage and more damage and more damage. I don't know if it ever caps out at a certain point. But if you're fighting something really tough and you just want to keep staggering it, you can use the Furious Power Fist. Because I've noticed that I've staggered a lot of enemies with this weapon. And at a low level, you know that staggering is a much needed thing. So again, no number five is going to be the Furious Power fist definitely something you should pick up and I'll go and show you guys where it is on the map so right here uh, right next to uh, Diamond City right there is the Swans Pond let me zoom in got so many locations but yeah right there you want to go to Swans Pond and right in the middle of the pond there's actually a giant mutant that is like he's like crazy I forgot the name of them. I think they're behemoths yeah but this guy's a special name he's called Swan and he is a pain to kill <laughs> at a low level especially but but yeah, this weapon carried me through a lot of my ventures in Fallout 4, so I just thought I'd throw it in number 5. So let's go ahead and hop it right into the next one. Alright, so coming in number 4 is of course going to be Grognax Axe. The reason why I really do favor this weapon is mainly because it's a, it's, it's like a very, it's a, it's a unique weapon. It's one of a kind, there's no other weapon in the game like it. Because most legendaries, have you know, and they have special names, but they take the uh, form of just any other random weapon you can find just anywhere and basically Grognax Axe has a very unique design to it it's very it's just one of a kind it's a really awesome weapon it's really cool for doing like brutal melee anything it's just really awesome I actually made a video called a uh, brutal melee compilation and I actually had Grognax Axe uh, Grognax Axe in there and I gotta say it was crazy when you hit people with it because you would like just hear their the blood just splatter out of them you would just hear their bones cracking whenever you're smacking them I mean it was just God, it was <laughs> very, uh, very brutal, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where it is. But as you can see here, this is Grognax Axe. It says, hits cause more stagger and targets take bleed damage. So again, you hear the blood coming out of them and they stagger a lot. So again, this thing is pretty powerful. The perk on it is definitely one of a kind also, but it's definitely really cool. And uh, I definitely recommend picking this up if you haven't already, which I'm pretty sure most of you have because this weapon is awesome. Alright, so you want to head over to Hubris Comics, not too far away from Swan's Pond actually, so right after you get the Furious Power Fist, you can actually come right over here to Hubris Comics and actually pick up Grognax Axe, so let's go ahead and head inside and I'll show you guys where it is. Alright, so as soon as you come in the front door, you'll notice that there's a, uh, a counter right in front of you. You want to go straight, and right here in this box is actually where Grognax Axe will be. It's an advanced lock, so you may have to level up your perks a little bit and... Oh no. <laughs> Got some ghouls, let's handle these guys and we'll be right back once we go into number three. Alright, so number three on my list is actually going to be Crim's Tooth. It's my go-to weapon right now, and there's still two more weapons to go. I know that this should be a number one in my opinion, but again, my uh, melee weapon bias, I'm going to actually kind of push it back and put two better weapons in front of it. But anyway, guys, the reason why Crim's Tooth is one of my favorite weapons is just because the blade has a very unique design to it. Again, it's a machete with a sacrificial blade, or I don't know what it's called, but anyway, it's just a really cool weapon design. It's really cool. It's got really awesome perks on it. It takes like does poison damage and makes targets like bleed and stuff it's just really awesome and yeah you can come over here to Dunwich Borders and actually pick this weapon up for yourself so again it's right here right next to Salem and yeah there's Dunwich Borders I'm calling it Borders but even though there's no D there whatever just leave me alone but anyway you want to come over here to Dunwich Borders and you can actually pick up Crimson Tooth for yourself so this is the weapon that I'm always using for my melee build and it's really awesome it actually does double the damage of 74 it just uh my perk actually makes it like break and it makes it look like it only does 74 but it does double that damage and it's a really awesome weapon <laughs> really awesome I really do like it it's a machete it looks really cool and it just it's pretty powerful in my opinion so yeah guys definitely recommend picking this up this is going to be coming at number three so let's go and hop right into number two all right so coming in at number two is actually going to be spray and pray the reason why I say this weapon is a must-have weapon is because the bullets explode on impact doing 15 points of area effect damage which makes this weapon 
a DPS beast. Let's just say that the rate of fire combined with that perk equals total annihilation. I've seen Mire Lurk Queens just go from full health to no health in like five seconds. It's ridiculous. It's like just this weapon's really overpowered, and I say that you should conserve your ammo for it because overusing this weapon will deplete your ammo a lot because of, again, it's got a very crazy rate of fire. It actually has a 100 round magazine, I'm pretty sure, and it, it just, wow. <laughs> this weapon's crazy. There's not much I can really say. Words cannot describe the glory of this weapon. So yeah, this is like a shredder right here. You can easily mow down anything in your path, anything running at you, anything that's big, death claws, legendary death claws, anything that's ridiculously overpowered, this weapon will say, no, just get out of my way. I don't want your business. I got this. <laughs> this weapon is basically just made for shredding anything. So yeah, this is definitely gonna take number two. You're probably like, well, if this weapon's a godly weapon, what's gonna take number one? And you'll see it in just a second here. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure most of you could have predicted it by now, but Overseer's Guardian comes in at first place because this weapon does so much damage. It is stupid. All right, so you see that there's 144 damage there. Well, that's because it shoots two projectiles and this weapon is ridiculous. It's automatic. And I just gotta say, the fact that it shoots two projectiles means that my magazine shoots double the just ammo. It's just ridiculous how much it can shoot. And whenever I raided Spectacle Island and killed that Mire Alert Queen for the uh, third time, this is actually the weapon I use. And I gotta say, again, just like Spray and Pray, it kills her really quickly. So, I mean, this weapon is definitely a recommended weapon of uh, just. It's awesome, okay? Again, words can't really describe it. It is very powerful, very overpower overpowered. There's, you always see this on Reddit popping up saying that Overseer's Guardian is like a must-have weapon because it's just so powerful. It hits really hard, and I got to say, it's just crazy. <laughs> it's a crazy weapon to have, so I'm going to show you guys where you can pick this up if you want to know where it is. I mean, it kind of hints at where you can get it from because Overseer, I mean, we all know where Overseers come from is the vault. So let's go ahead and see which vault it is. All right, so once you head over to Vault 81, you will then want to go inside the vault and come over to this chick right here, Alexis Combs. She will then sell you Overseer's Guardian because she's the one who sells it. So if you go ahead and trade with her, she'll have it in her inventory. I don't know exactly how much it is because I bought it a long time ago, but I got to say, definitely really, it's just number one on my list just because, again, just like Spray and Pray, it's a shredder. It's kind of hard to put those two in different positions. I don't know, Spray and Pray or Overseer's Guardian. It was hard to put which one was the number one, but honestly, I did use... Uh, Overseer's Guardian more than Spray and Pray, so I gotta say, Overseer's Guardian definitely takes number one on the list. So, again, guys, pretty much gonna wrap up the video. If you do enjoy, definitely drop a like down below, subscribe for more. I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one, and peace out, everybody.